okay I've dried my plaque um, so now what I'm going to do I'm going to take it off of my silicon sheet now it's still soft it's not set it's dry enough to paint but it's not it will, it will take three weeks before it properly dries out but there it is I'm going to move this uh, I'm going to put a clean baking sheet I use these all the time um, I wash them off under a tap but if they get really bad um, I stick a load of cloths and bits and pieces that I use for my crafting and put it through the washing machine and they come out as new um, you know these are probably two or three years old okay so now we're going to do the painting um, so we've got the pigments now I'm going to use my own pigments because I don't want to open another couple and waste them but they're exactly the same as the large ones and it's no difference it's just that these are the smaller ones for the sample kit so we've got spring green pearl and fuchsia pearl um, we've also got the satin pigment fixative and again I'm just going to use one that, that's already open to save opening a new one but they're all exactly the same products now this um, is a liner that you put in the bottom of your oven um, and I use these for mixing my paints on um, I have got a Tim Holtz mat and you can actually do it on this but because this is black I like to mix my colours on a black surface because then I get more of an idea of what they're going to look like when I put them on the black so that's why I'm using that um, I've got a paintbrush here now I always start with my paintbrush wet so I'm just going to wet it um, and the reason for that is it stops the fixative going in to your ferrule so your paintbrush will last longer but we don't really want it wet as we're using the pigment so dry it up this is just an old towel an old um, microfiber towel that everybody hated um, and I cut it up into pieces um, and I use it when I'm um, crafting and when it gets very dirty I just put it in the washing machine with all my other bits and they come out quite nicely um, you can use kitchen roll to dry your brushes um, I don't I try not to use kitchen roll because I'm trying to keep as eco-friendly as possible okay so first thing you do is you get your fixative and you put a little bit of fixative on your sheet and then you choose your colors so I'm going to start off with the fuchsia so I'm going to open the fuchsia I'll open the spring green as well ready to use and then what you do is you put your brush into the fixative and you wet your brush now you want to make sure that's in the bristles you know it's not just a little tiny dip you want to make sure that that is well in the bristles and then you dip it into the color you want and when you do that you'll just come out with a little bit of pigment like that and then I tend to work not on the bit that I've pulled out but near it and I mix the pigment in now I want to get this right into my brush I don't want it just on the surface of my brush I want to get it deep inside my brush now as you can see this is not a powder so there's no clumps in it but it's not wet so it wouldn't drip off so it's like a, a thin paste now if it's too thick and it is a bit clumpy you can see it's starting to dry and it's clumping a bit around the edges just dip it back into your fixative put a little bit more fixative in it if it's too wet dip it into your pigment and get a little bit more pigment so now I've got my brush fully covered I'm going to dry brush this so what I want to do is clean off the outside of the brush so I wipe it that way turn my brush over and wipe it that way now there's hardly any pigment left on the outside of the brush but there's still a lot inside which is what we're going to use and to dry brush hold your brush like this when we normally paint we hold our brush like this but we're not painting we're dry brushing and with dry brushing we want to catch the highlights the raised up bits so if we hold our brush like this this is more likely to catch those bits and we move it across our item now it's better to do a lot a very very thin coat so I'm doing this quite gently and as you can see the fuchsia it comes out almost like a, a purpley bluey colour 
when it's on the thinner coats like this. Now if you want it a bit more, you can get a little bit heavier. And because my brush is now, most of the pigment has been used, I can afford to go a little bit heavier on this. Now if I'd have done this at the beginning, the whole heart would have ended up fuchsia, which I didn't want. I just want the highlights. And you can see, as it's getting more layers, the pink fuchsia bits coming through. So I want to do the flowers, and I'm going to do the flowers in the same colour. So a little bit more this. The fixative, back in the fuchsia. Now that, that's too dry. Can you see that it's a bit powdery there? It's not mixed properly, so I put a little drop more. until it's at the consistency that you want. Again, wipe off one side, wipe off the other, and now I'm going to do the flowers. Now there's a little bit more left on my brush, so I'm just gonna go over this. Now I'm going to go onto the green, so I'm going to clean my brush. Remember, dry it well, otherwise you'll water your fixative down and it won't work properly. So, another little bit of fixative. Get it into the, the bristles. Dip it into the green. dry brush, clean one side, clean the other and this time I want to do the raised up wrinkles so as you can see now you don't have to do it in this order if you wanted to you could do the green first and do the, um, the hearts after on mixing your pigment cleaning both sides of the brush especially when you start off with a freshly loaded brush remember keep it on the edge much on your brush then you can tend to go and use the end of your brush more but don't do that at the beginning otherwise it won't get the highlights you'll find that it will all turn green and you might find there's a few loose bits as I have and that's usually because you just haven't coated them enough so you haven't got enough of the sculpting to hold them onto the plaque or you haven't dried it enough and it's still wet underneath. Try to go from different angles and then you'll catch the creases in different directions. Now I'm going back to the pink. Oops. Helps if I use the open one. As you can see, the fixative dries quite quickly. Um, and that's so that you can do multiple coats. If you use something that takes a long time to dry, you're going to have to wait for coats to dry. And I'm fairly impatient, so I don't really like waiting for things. And I 
also want to catch a couple of these texture balls with a little bit of the fuchsia and maybe a few of the, the wrinkles just to add a bit more interest so that it's not all just flat Last of all, I'm just going to use a smaller brush. Oh, right, so we're going to make a paint. So we want it slightly more liquid than the dry brushing. And this time I'm not going to dry my brush. So what I want to do is just give the centers a little bit of green and that's pretty much your finished plaque now you have to let that dry for three weeks and then if you want to you can put it outside I wouldn't hang it up at the moment even though I just held it like that because that will take a while to dry you know it's, it might feel dry but it's not and I hope you enjoyed that if there's anything at all that you would like me to show you how to do please make a comment in the um, comments below and I will try to do it um, and also I'd love it if you subscribed and thank you for watching bye